grab some snacks for us. Here's yours. Thank you. Hello, this is Soul Spawn. Welcome back to my Fallout 4 PC playthrough. Yep. I'm just uh, moseying on around here, finding materials, and of course, we've got ourselves Mr. Gutsy. Come on, get him. All right, so, how's this gonna work? We can, we can do this. Come on. Come on. Oh, we've attracted some mutants. Yes, we got him, all right. You, you. Don't need a stim pack. Okay, let's get here. Yes. All right, so. Minor distraction. Where'd that super mutant come from? Over here? Yep, right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, man. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Let's pause time here. What do I got here? I need to get more ammo. There we go, got one. Got the other. All right. You know, I'm gonna take all of their things because I really need steel. Ooh, a globe. What's that? That's just a book I can't pick up. Cool. Okay, distractions aside. I'm gathering materials for Hangman's Alley. And what's that? That's a door. Chem user's hideout. Okay, we're gonna check this out. Okay, we're here. Addict, addict, addict. Hey. <clears throat> Note from an addict. Okay. This is the gate to heaven. I know this because I have seen it open in my mind. I have heard it with my ears. It speaks to me from the light. Within that light is a voice, as clear and deep as gravity. It says only the penitent man will pass. Okay. Hey there. I can't talk to anybody. This is obviously added by the mod. And that's okay. We're just going to take all their drugs. Beer bottle. Ooh, there's more drugs. More drugs. Take all the drugs. Hello, Miss Push-Ups. All right, that's it. We're being attacked. Being attacked. Come on. Raider. Why am I missing? Come on. Get him. Good. All right, let me take all your things. Break it all down when we get home. There's one more over here, yes. Hey, you wiener. All right, where'd they come from? Oh, shit. All right, so who are they? Where's my vats? Oh, whoops. Those are my neighbors from Sanctuary Hills. Nice. In case you didn't know, there's a random encounter that you can run into. And, oh shit. Yeah, it's all your neighbors. Well, most of them. The ones that didn't make it into the vault anyway. Hello. All right. Uh. Good thing I have all these companions. We'll take all their things. Just like that. Nice. I wonder who they're fighting. 
There's probably some bodies in here. Yes, there are. Look at that. Again, take all their things. And yeah, um... Just like that. I'm saying just like that a lot. Girls are smarter than you think. Folks say their brains are rotted away. But I've seen them set up ambushes around dead bodies. Huh. You know, you're probably right. Um, I don't think there's much in there. So, we're just gonna mosey on back. To Hangman's Alley we go. Alright, so. We're back at Hangman's Alley. And I forgot to put all my junk in the thing. In the thing. Get in there. Excellent. Alright, so. As you can see, I've done a build a bit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's my words. I've done a bit of building. Just a little bit. I've got a. We'll start off right here. I've got a little platform right here for guarding. Because this is one of the three ways to get into this alley. And, yeah. Pretty straightforward. It's not really done yet, but I might even uh, mess around with it a little bit. Um, and then we turn over here and there's a few new structures, so the whole idea is, like this city, it's a broken down city, right? So, I want to make sure it makes sense what's in here. So, steel beams, of course you can find those everywhere in here because all these buildings are going to have steel beams in them, for the most part anyway. Especially the, the newer ones. So... Like, all these steel beams are scavenged from all the wreckage all around us and brought here and used to build these structures. We got some wood in here, too. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. It's going to be some sort of uh, home or barracks or whatever. And then over here, we'll go under here first. We've got our little storage area started, and I'm making sure to use a bunch of like usable containers for the most part wooden barrel nice and then we got our shelf here too and yeah and then over here is the other guarding station and right now i've got why are you staring that way i've got to turn that thing around yeah sure probably but yeah either way i've got a there's also a bunch of flies here. What the heck? Yeah, I gotta turn that around so he's facing that way. Or, I've been contemplating maybe the unofficial patch makes it so this area is usable by, by settlers. Which means I could totally block this area off here. And we can use that as a settlement. Because I haven't unlocked this yet because I don't want enemies like coming through there if they spawn here to attack the settlement. I don't want them coming through there and there at the same time. That's a lot for this point to handle. Like, Always good to have you back. I am back. Yeah, it's a lot for one point of defense to handle two separate points of offense. So, maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll block that off and we'll treat that as an entrance and we'll get like a platform here or something, staring directly at that with like turrets and whatnot. That'd be cool. Um, oh yeah, okay, so, and then we got up here, which down here is going to be another, like, uh, living space, almost, and then up here is going to be my temporary player home, because I do have plans to do other things with other areas, but in the meantime, we need a place to live, and that place will be here. I have to finish it still. I ran out of steel. But yeah, and I was thinking, since we have the Vault Tech DLC installed, maybe we'll set that vault up as like a main base of operations for like a uh, kind of faction thing I'm thinking about. I haven't really thought it through fully, but I figured I'd say something now. We're going to roleplay a faction, and 
like all our settlers and whatnot, they will be part of the faction and will, yeah, pretty much be almost like the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm thinking like a mix between the Minutemen and Brotherhood of Steel. Whoa. Hello, leg. Come on. You can do it. Hi. Hello? There you are. Yeah, like a mix between Brotherhood of Steel and Minutemen. Like, have like the the kindness of the Minutemen kind of thing. Like, they go out and help people and stuff, and that's what they want to do. They want to help people make this place a better place. But they're not as organized as the Brotherhood of Steel, and that's the strength of the Brotherhood of Steel right there. I know that we tried. And in the end, the relationships built are more important than the structure. Huh. But yeah. That's the Brotherhood's strength. So that would mean that our new faction will be very organized, but helping everybody else kind of thing. I don't know. I still have to flush it out. But yeah. Um let's go do that thing. With that thing over there. How'd I get you? You gotta buy a girl a drink to loosen her up. Uh-huh. Sure. So, this is that building that... That one person that was fighting those saint people last episode. She was standing in front of here guarding. And we agreed to help. So, now we're in here. And this is totally a brothel. Hello, Mr. Cigarette. Um... I think we go up here. Yeah. This is where we go. And... Just up here. Here we are. They say in the olden days that enlightened men drank wines made of the finest grapes. I contend that fruit has no place in the hallowed halls of a brewery. Actually, wait. We're going to put our data on. Another drink, Penelope. Are you sure you should be drinking so much? What if you end up an addict like your customers? My dear, that'll never happen. I don't drink to get drunk. I drink for clarity. See, liquor is called the spirit for a reason. And inside this wellspring of manna is the very soul of the world, whose secrets I will someday unlock. So yes, Pour me another drink. Boss, the saints came after us again. We gotta hit him back this time. Huh. I suppose we're running out of cheeks to turn. Are you sure this intel you received is good? It's good. Then it's settled. You will take care of the saints, and I'll take care of these spirits. One other thing. I want to take this girl with me. She showed real moxie out there. Fine, fine. Uh, just do me a favor and... Spare me the details. You know I can't stand the thought of blood. Will do. All right, follow me and stay close. The church isn't too far from here, but that doesn't make it safe. Mr. Oh, right. Teaching me about the world. That's Today not where you go. But we're gonna go outside because I'm not waiting for you. And here we are. Okay. There she goes. Oh, there's totally a way down here? I didn't realize. Cool. Um. Alright, where are you taking me? Dog found an enemy. No, he didn't. He c they can fuck right off. Um, table knife. Why do you need that? I need it for steel. Because I'm building with steel. I'm always a little bit par paranoid going down this road because there's enemies stashed away everywhere. Oh, here we are. I've got all my ammo on. Oh, here we go. Huh. 
money. This doesn't look like a hideout. Fuck, it's a trap! Over there. We're not alone. And we're done. Man, these. Whoa! Fuck! Fuck! Hey, we leveled up. Damn, that was close. I'm not in any hurry to meet my maker, but judging by all these saints, he's sure as hell eager to meet us. I'm heading back to the bar to tell Q what happened here. He'll know what to do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna loot all the bodies. Um, Pit Boy Light. That's really green. Robot. Hold on. I'd like to have a little chat. Who are you really? I'm a saint. Just like the men you killed. Don't worry. I'm not here to fight. In fact, I'm on your side. You see, our leader's making this out to be a religious crusade. But the truth is, this is just personal. What do you mean by that? It's an old story. A boy visits a brothel, hoping to become a man. Only this story has a cruel twist. It wasn't a woman waiting behind that door. It was his sister, a girl named Jane. What is it you want? Well, in the old days, conflicts like this happened on a much larger scale. Sometimes alliances were forged with marriages, others with hostages. I want you to give Q this letter. It outlines the terms of a peace agreement. No setup this time. No tricks. Okay. Cool. Mr. Saint Person You. Let's go see what they have to say about it. Hello. Hi. If you need a drink. Try asking so, Molly down. Did you send the fanatics back to their precious? You might want to check your I'm order. Sorry, though. boss. It was a stone cold setup. I'm not entirely sure. Known it was too good to be true. English. Which means we're no closer to ending these interruptions of yours. I have something for you. So the saints want to make peace. Huh? I suppose since their little ambush didn't work, now they want to negotiate. What do you think? Well, the prospect of stopping these attacks makes me weep tears of joy. But ultimately, the decision is yours. Seeing as you'll be the one doing the work, I'll just be paying you to do it. You know what? We'll take the deal. Take the deal. Agreed. Some would use our advantage to try and force a checkmate, when it's far easier to let your opponent concede. Plus all this talk of war is making me nauseous. Take the girl home, her debt is paid. Nice, all right. I have trouble with multiplication tables. Cool. Adding and subtracting is easy though. Mr. Q has me count the bottom. Um, all right, so we have to go get somebody. There she is. Do you think this is gonna work? I don't think I can take another day here. Okay, apparently she already she already knows what's going on. Then let's go find your home. Really? Q said it was okay? Then I guess we should go. I don't really have anything to pack. I want to leave it all behind. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we've got to go this way. Come on. Come on. All right. Time for a little tradey trade. Where are we here? Okay, cool. This is where we go, right here. Oh, there's a raider. Come on. Got you. I'm still in danger. I'm sure they won't complain. 
Where? Why don't you just die? Okay, you know what? We'll just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Right here, look at all these people. So, Q took the deal. It's good to see diplomacy is alive and well. As for you, you've made a friend in the Saints. And perhaps you've even earned a place in our circle. When that time comes, we'll find you. Is it true? Are you really taking me home? Yes, I am. Maybe not the home you remember, but home nonetheless. What about my brother? What was that? He ain't mad. Something Leave him to me. In the meantime, you can explain to me bag. how this all came about. I don't really know what to tell you. You should tell me the truth. As for your brother, we'll come up with something better. Thanks. For everything. Maybe we'll see each other again sometime. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... <clears throat> We'll take our leave after you take yours. You can never be too careful. Okay. Let's get out of here. We did it. We saved a girl from prostitution. And we also helped the frickin' brothel she was working at, too. That's kind of like a weird, like, in the middle scenario kind of thing. Kind of have mixed feelings, but whatever. It, it, it is what it is. Let's go back and get some reward. Which should be just in here. It's money time. Money time. Let's get some money. I don't want to talk to you. A big softy. Sometimes, though, I feel Shut like up. His brain is mush too. Shut up. All right. So, the help Sadie hired has returned. What of it? Is it taken care of? Hired help or not, I got the job done. And you managed to do it without dirtying my floors. You're a woman after my own heart. And as such, you deserve a reward worthy of a true lady. Here, my finest bottle of bourbon. Drink it in good health. Huh. Cool. I got booze. I kind of want to take things. But that kind of left on a cliffhanger because those saints, they said that I have perhaps earned a place in their circle. And if they need me, they'll come find me. Which means there could be more to this. And that'd be super cool. I'd like to see this thing out. Okay, let's just go back here, drop everything else off, and if you know, well, if you watched the first episode, the previous episode, you know where I'm going to be heading next, and yeah, you know, you know. Okay, dog, 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 come here, I need all that stuff. Hey. Oh, come back here, you stupid. Alright. Take all your stuff. We're gonna drop it all. Inventory. And scrap it all. Being very careful not to scrap anything important. And there's that. Alright. All scrapped. Excellent. Drop off a few more things. Just like that. And then... Oh, you know what? What we're going to do next is... <clears throat> Excuse me. What we're going to do next is going to be excellent for Heather. Because it has to do with... Do it, all over again. Change a thing. it has to do with one of her quests. Alright. Let's get going. Alright, so... If you haven't figured it out by now, we're heading to the Cambridge Police Station to help those poor Brotherhood people out. And we want to go around this way, right here. 
Um, ghouls, ghouls. Ghouls. You hear that? Yes, we hear that. I don't think we're alone. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Okay, what do we got here? I got some shotgun ammo. There we go. We did it. Hello, Dance. Hi. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir. If I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Okay. So, Halen, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. It's moving towards me. What the? Time to prove your work. Can you like not? Okay. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. Nice. All right, big guy. Let's go. There we go. Ooh, another level up. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna go in here. Fan fucking tastic. We're gonna spend some time with the Brotherhood. Nice. Oh yeah, that's another thing that's part of her quest too. She has locations that you need to go to, and it gives affinity points. We're supposed to talk with her. Hey there. What's up? What's on your mind? Great. We make a good team. Better than I expected. So much better, you deserve a bigger discount. You've earned it. And this is the key to my place? It's a small bunker near Covenant. I'd like to go there if we get a chance. Sound good to you? Sure. Fan-fucking-tastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. Nice. Alright, so, before we go with Dance, we are going to do a whole bunch of looting because there's a bunch of things all around here that we could use. Check every container. Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. Ho ho, custom power armor animation for dance. Nice. All right. Let's go.